Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Today's one is going to be a quick one. It's about um, an understanding of what the word confession means. In Christendom, when we say confess, many times um, the connotation that is perceived in our minds is confessing sin. Yes, that's part of the Christian walk. If you've seen, uh, scripture says that he is faithful and just to forgive us. If we confess our sins before him, he is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. That's one aspect. But the other aspect is confession in the positive sense. And that word confession is the Greek word homologia, which means homo, or uh, let's treat it down into its, it's a compound word, homo, that's one, logia, word one word basically it means to say the same thing so in the context we're using it confessing you are saying the same thing that's basically where that word comes from or where it's really pushed forward in christendom is in the book of hebrews where it says uh, if you confess your sins uh, sorry if you uh, hold fast to your confession or to your profession of faith some translations say of hope Hold fast to your profession of faith, for he who promised is faithful. Or then another part says, hold fast to your profession, for uh, you, you have a faithful high priest. Profession or confession used there, homologia used there, means that you are saying the same thing that God has said. You are saying the same thing that your high priest is saying before the Father. So when we use the word confession in the positive sense, and that is usually where we want to stay, is you are saying the same thing as God says in your situation. So you can be saying what you're seeing in your situation. Meanwhile, God has said something else. For you to change that situation, you have to say the same thing God has said concerning the situation. I'll give an instance. Jairus daughter, I like talking about that because it's very practical. The servants came and told Jairus what they saw. That the child was dead. Jesus refused to say, to parrot what they saw. To say, to parrot what they said that they saw. He stopped Jairus. He overheard what they said. He ignored what they said. And so he didn't repeat or parrot what they said. When he got to the house and he saw them parroting what they were seeing, he didn't follow the crowd. Instead, he homologated what God had said. He said, the damsel is not dead, but only sleeping. So he was saying the same thing as God had said. Because when Jairus had made his faith statement, ab initio, come, and lay your hands on this child, and she shall be healed and live. God sanctioned it. God gave it an okay. God said it. In essence, because he had provided his word in the past, saying, if you ask, you will receive. Therefore, whoever asketh, receive it. Jairus had asked, and so it had been received. So as far as God was concerned, this child is not dead. If Jesus had parroted, what they had said, the child would have remained dead. The fact that he chose to say what the father was saying, he was confessing, holding fast to the profession of faith. And that's what we're supposed to do. Yes, we see stuff happening around. The temptation is great because we've lived in this world for this number of years, and that is how things have... that We normally... The, the carnal man, the normal man, the fleshly man says things as he sees it but we live and operate in two different realms at the same time if you are a christian your language in the earth is supposed to be the language the superior language the language above you have to say what god has said confess what he has said say the same thing god says about your situation irrespective of how it looks 
that is the only way that you are using the superior power of the superior kingdom and making his kingdom his will be done on earth as it is done in heaven you want his will to be done on earth in your life as it is in heaven then say the same thing thing that he has said concerning your situation. The Lord will help you. God bless you. Hallelujah.